Hello. I wanted to show you what stem cells can do for a damaged or dying heart. This is the ultrasound or echocardiogram of a patient that was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, which means weakening or damaged heart. It's very severe. An ultrasound is similar to what we use when we look at babies before they're born. This is the major pumping chamber of the heart here. These are the valves that are opening and closing as the blood goes in and out. This is the muscle around the heart chamber that squeezes, and as you can see, it's barely coming in on this patient. This patient, um, there's his date of birth, 61647. This study is before he was treated, and it was done October 26 of 2010. And again, this is what the gentleman's heart looked like before we treated him with stem cells. And this is what his heart looks like after it was treated with stem cells. It's an ultrasound again. You can see the valves that are opening and closing down here, the muscles of the heart around, and you can see how much stronger that squeeze is. It's actually normal at this point. Uh, this study was done in July of 2013. This patient was treated in 2011 with stem cells, so this is uh, two years after his treatment. Again, there's his date of birth, so you can see that it's the same patient, actually. And just look at how much stronger and more normal that heart is pumping. So, again, this is before stem cells, and you can see those walls are barely moving in. This patient was actually recommended um, to have a transplant and a defibrillator pacemaker implanted after this echo. He opted to be treated with stem cells. And this is after stem cells. So you can look to see how much more that squeeze is and again how much more normal it is. It's pretty impressive. In 2011, he was evaluated by the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, where he had severe decrease in left ventricular function, and his ejection fraction was down at 18%. His most recent echocardiogram, which is from July of 2013, the one that I just showed you, uh, has his ejection fraction at 55%, which is normal, 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 normal. Remember, this was a patient that had been recommended for heart transplantation a couple of years ago and a defibrillator pacemaker. He is now has normal findings on his echocardiogram and is able to lead a normal lifestyle with an outpatient procedure uh, utilizing the injection of stem cells. So how did we accomplish this? Well, what we did was we took stem cells from the patient's blood, fat, or bone marrow. We then cultured them in a bioreactor with naturally occurring growth factors. And we ended up with cardiovascular colony forming units. And what that means is that these stem cells could then produce endothelial cells, which are actually blood vessels, as well as cardiomyocytes, which are heart muscle cells. The cells then were then re-injected into uh, the patient's heart in December of 2011. Uh, that word injection is with a Y because it was done in the Dominican Republic because we're not allowed to do that here in the United States, even though we've been treating patients with stem cells in the rest of the world for about uh, 10 years. He had 30 injections directly into the heart muscle and we end up with a normal heart that functions normally and gives the patient a normal prognosis without the need of a transplant, electronic devices, defibrillators, or heart pumps.